Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Empty Lifestyle. And on this episode, we have somebody that sent us a light to try out. This is going to be the Brenite HC01 Noctua headlamp. It's a thousand lumens. It's got a white light. It's got a red light. It's rechargeable. Let's open it up and check it out. So here's our headlamp, the Brenite HC01 Noctua headlamp. Here's the packaging it comes in. There's our headlamp, all nice and coiled up, plastic still on. It's kind of cool, they have it all wound up, the elastic band that goes around your, your head. Check that out in a second. Here's the charging cable right there. Looks like it's like an Android charging cable that goes right in there. That's where you plug it in to recharge it right there in the bottom. A product catalog. Some other lights they carry. Well, it looks like they have some other kind of lights. Wow, look at this one. Uh, I might have to ask them to test this one out. It's got multiple colors. Green, red, blue, UV, IR. Wow, I'm going to have to test that one out. Looks like these are. this is a hunting kind of light that they have. Other headlamps. So that's kind of neat. We'll have to... Wow, look at all the other headlamps that they cover. So I'll have to scan these and post these up for you guys to see. Here's the user's manual, warranty card, I believe. I'll scan all these and so you guys can read them on the screen. Here's the war warranty. So I've not used this light yet. I have literally just took it out of the package. Uh, looks like there's a little sticker on here. Press them together to unlock success after blinking. Tear that guy off. There's a little plastic cover over the front of it. Let's see, how do I unroll this guy? So we loosen this guy up. Comes right undone like that. You can kind of adjust it over your head. There's a little bit, keep it a little bit tight on there. This little switch to help keep it a little bit tight. So if you got a big head like me or a smaller head, you can just kind of adjust it to what the size of your, your head or helmet you're going to put it on. If you're going to put it on a, a rock climbing helmet or construction helmet or maybe any kind of hat or whatever you're gonna wear. And then you can twist it, twist that little notch in the back to tighten it to your size of your head or hat that you're gonna mount it on. Boom, right here. Let's center it a little bit. Okay, got it a little centered. This little wind up key is kind of neat. I mean, I don't really like the fact that it's plastic because those of us who've been out in the woods, hiking, uh, you know, even, uh, going out fishing or whatever at night, camping. Uh, plastic things tend to break because we're really rough on them. Uh, but if they could come out with a better design where it was maybe aluminum or a very stronger polymer plastic, um, that would probably be better. But this feels really, I can slightly bend it with my fingers. So I bet you this would bust. And then if it's big and loose then what do you have i mean you'd have to use a safety pin to size it or velcro but you can see how you can wind it up very nicely so it goes takes up just this little bit of space so you can put in your pack throw it in a pocket maybe your glove box or your car so this is the very first time i'm going to turn this light on i can see there's a indication right here when you hit this light you can see the green pop up there that's going to be your battery level it says it's all four or green so that's telling me it should be all the way full so these two buttons if you hold them down at the same time and they blink so we'll see if we can do this one-handed it blinks right hit the button it's got the security on there but it'll let you know how much battery is left when you just tap the button but if we want to turn this on it's kind of nice because it won't come on in your pack or your pocket <clears throat> we'll hit both these buttons at the same time for two seconds it should blink Okay, that means we can use a light now. So we got, push that once, it goes to the setting you want it on. And right now it's on the lowest setting. So let's see, if we push it again, it'll go off. Push it again and come on. So we wanna make it a higher setting. That's the lowest setting right there. So 
We just depress the button and hold it down until we get the setting we want. So it goes low, medium, high, ultra high. Let's hold it down again. You see that? That's just from holding it down. There's a super high setting. When we tap the button once, turns off, turn on again, goes back to that same setting. So that's also going to work with the red one as well. So we turn it on. There's our low red setting, right? Let's say we're hunting or we're reading a map or whatever we're doing. We're not trying to kill our night vision. So we hold it down. We want a little brighter. Goes low to high, low to high. So we want high and we just tap it once, goes off, tap it one again. It'll go back to its high setting. I'll show you guys right here. There's going to be specs listed in the description below. I'll copy and paste all those specs down there. And I'll also have the link in the description below of where you could find this headlamp uh, to purchase on Amazon. Honestly, it's kind of nice to have a different kind of light, especially if you're going to load your car at night with your scuba gear, go down the trail at night or whatever camping. I mean, uh, we do other things other than diving. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till nighttime, obviously. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some chores at night. It's really cold, like 20 degrees. The snow is melted, it's still frozen, the ground's still country. I'm gonna get some fire going and I'm gonna restock some wood, so I'll be getting some wood at night. So let's try this light out at night when it gets dark. So we're outside now, it's dark. I got the headlamp, it's on the lowest setting. Uh, let me turn it off, let's do the red setting. And there's a bright red, a low red. Anyways, um, let's go out and get some wood. We're gonna check on the animals first and uh, then we're gonna build a fire, keep warm. So far this has been a pretty decent uh, headlamp. Check this out. There's the super, that's not too bad for the super. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad at all. Ground's really crunchy. Ground is all solid. They're okay. Goats are all right. Hey, how, how you doing? Yeah. Littles in the back are okay. There's mama. Okay. So goats are okay. Next. We're gonna check on the chickens. See how they're doing. We have heaters. It's uh, 20 degrees outside Fahrenheit. We have heaters. So make sure these heaters, they automatically come on when it gets dark outside. Let me get to the other side. And... Yeah, it's, it's working, it's just barely. It's working, all right. Okay. Good night, girls. Good night. Oh, there goes a bunny. I spooked a little bunny. Look how frozen this is. This is like probably, boy, it feels like it's frozen solid. That's crazy. Yeah, I see little air bubbles go down for a while. <laughs> That's how cold it is, 20 degrees. So we ended up getting some kindling split. Um, I'm gonna go start a fire, try to warm up. So after using the Brightnite uh, HC01 headlamp, I'd have to say 
it was a pretty decent headlamp. A uh, thousand lumens, got multiple settings. So that's kind of a cool little feature, that little swivel right there. And you can adjust this guy in the back. I like that. So it kind of fits every head. The only thing uh, I would hope that the plastic thing would get upgraded to some kind of thicker polymer plastic or maybe aluminum down the road. I would say that this headlamp, I mean, it's got multiple uses. You could take a razor clamp digging, fishing, going hiking, camping. If you're doing uh, ground pounding work for search and rescue, uh, you're doing any SAR work, you know, even if you're like on a different, like a four by four unit or a mounted horse unit. I mean, this would definitely be an essential uh, piece of equipment to take a nice little headlamp. Um, you know, with, with uh, multiple settings so you could go low or high depending on what you need to use it for, what area you need to illuminate it. Um, but yeah, I would say this is not, not a bad headlamp. I will be interested in doing some more reviews if they do want to send me some other products by the Bright Night. So thank you so much, you guys, for sending me this product. Thank you once again, everybody. Take care, be safe.